So as I was mentioning, I returned to Panasonic G7 and there is a good reason for that. Actually, there are several reasons for that. First of all, at Otokina 2016, Panasonic announced the G85, which is a better version of the G7. Why? Because it has weather sealed body, in camera type axis stabilization, and, and many other features that makes it a better camera overall. The G7 was really nice. What I loved about it was the weight, the size, those micro third sensors have like really tiny lenses that are like so practical for vlogging. Now, the drawbacks were that it has no auto ISO and when you're in manual mode for, for video. It had no weather sealing and when I went next to the sea I could feel directly that uh, it would have an impact because wind, sand, salt, whatever. And if we're on a boat next year, I still want to be able to use the camera without freaking out that it's gonna die within two, two weeks. You can't also like set a minimum shutter speed limit when you're taking photos, that's pretty annoying. I don't think the G85 is gonna solve that. Last but not least, the price, the G85 that's coming out in October, so I mean in, in a few days, is actually not that much more expensive than the G7 that's maybe two, three hundred dollars more. And I think it's a better value right now for me. So I will stick at vlogging with my current gear, which I'm gonna show you in a minute when I get home, because right now I'm in this very, in this very cool co-working space in Dumbo. So no more G7. Looking forward to the G85, unless something really cool comes out. I think I'll go for that one. It's so tiny, it's really nice. I really enjoyed like shooting with it, to be honest. Panasonic GH5 has been announced, but it will come out in 2017. It's gonna be much more expensive, and I don't think I'm gonna need that right now. Talking with my friend yesterday, he brought up a very good point because you know when you're doing like daily videos or photos or whatever, it kind of becomes difficult after a while to like be always creative and you can think that it's not your best work. But he said something that was pretty awesome. He's like, but you know what? Every day is your best video because this is the one you shot. Meaning there are no other videos that you shot on that day. Which means that the one you released is your best one. Makes you feel better for the day. After you can say that over the past year, some are clear and not your best one. I think consistency is key here. I also want to get to the point where I'm like, it is a 365 in one year. That's going to be so awesome. All right, on the way back home now, I'm going to show you there what gear I'm using. Right All right, so this is my gear for vlogging. No, I'm just kidding. It's my photography gear. I have a 7200 2.8 here. I have a 105 macro lens here. I have a 7200 uh, 456. I love that lens. It's super fast. It's old. It kind of opens like that, uh, but it's super, it's super nice. You just throw it in your bag. It's just very heavy. And I have a 35 millimeter 1.4. On top of that, well, I had this tripod with that camera, but it just kept dying, so I stopped using it. And I got that one and said that's much more sturdy. Now, the camera I'm filming with it makes no sense, but this is my photography gear and I didn't want to reinvest in something different at the beginning. But this is a camera I'm using right now, here. This is my Nikon D750. It is a great camera for like photography. I have a 1635 f4 on, on it when I'm vlogging. And I have to say, it's a bit massive and bulky. On top of that, I have the microphone here for uh, with the fur so whenever there is movement I don't get the wind noise so yeah it's kind of a joke to be honest I've, I've filmed a bit with that one because it's it's stabilized it's amazing the shots are, are great you can never transport that that one uh, forget about it unless you're filming insect daily vlogging it's not perfect it's not great that is fine if you want to zoom in but again you have to change lens and it's always annoying 35 1.4 is great in very very low light all right now <laughs> i guess you guys can understand why i wanted a smaller camera like the panasonic g7 which was so small it was great but there are a few things that have been fixed or improved on the g85 that made me think, hey, I'm not gonna keep the G7, I'm gonna return it and get the G85 when it's available. Let me know your thoughts, if you have any question or anything, I'm very happy to answer. Otherwise, I'm wishing you an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.